After spending over a decade in the choral music space, our first artist decided it was time to spread her wings and explore a solo career. This would prove to be one of her best decisions, with her debut single earning her an Afri Music Song Contest Award. Her name is Nonzo Gwazi, and she joins us now to tell us more about her musical journey as well as her debut single, Pagama Mbogoto. Nonzo, it's great to have you here in studio. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for having me. It's such an honor and I'm so excited to be here. Lovely. Let's talk about when you first fell in love with music or when you realized that you had this gift of music. Mm -hmm. What was happening in your life? And I just described to us the circumstances around the time. Music for me was something that I, I started singing in church. Um, you, then the love grew from there. And then I ended up joining a school choir while I was still in primary school. I think that is where my teacher even spotted that mm, there's something special yeah, about yeah. you. So the love just grew from there. Being told that there's something special about you, mm. I think that does something even to your confidence. So the love just grew from there. That is where I started uh, being... Um, more invested in choral music but as time went by as i grew and i got to fly my wings and i got to visit other genres and i fell in love with african popular music Absolutely. and that is why i made a decision to you know what let me just focus on this music because this is where i feel like i'm free Mm. Yes. Now, having done choral music for um, so long, I can imagine that, you know, you get to a point where you're comfortable, you mm. are familiar with the sound, uh, you're familiar with the, 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 the teachings, and exploring other genres can be intimidating sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, when you decided that you wanted to go into a solo career and that you wanted to follow a particular sound, uh, what were some of the challenges that you faced or um, was it just an easy process for you to just transition from one thing into the next? I think when you are a person who is into choral music, I I'd say it's an advantage mm -hmm. to actually start in uh, the choral music industry mm -hmm. because the vocal training there yes. is sufficient enough mm -hmm. to bring this amazing vocal ability that you never even knew that you had. <laughs> so I think for me, it was an advantage. I never experienced any challenges vocally. It's just a matter of understanding that, okay, today we're doing choral music. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm gigging. I'm doing uh, an opera scene, okay? Yeah. In the next two weeks, I'm doing jazz. So it's yeah. a matter of understanding the different type of voice textures that are needed well, and don't, don't if you play it i think you've also got the <laughs> gift of versatility you know not a lot yes. of people can be dynamic in that sense you yes know? It's, yeah. it's a matter of understanding that and the more you're in the industry the more you get to grow and understand yeah. that you need to take care of your voice in such a matter that you're able to be versatile whenever mm. you need it to be and any fears and challenges for you when you decided that okay Gayenza Lendo, i'm going uh solo uh -huh. um tell us about just that process there were fears but i had to conquer them mm. and the first step i did i saw this competition called afri music and i said to myself let me enter this competition yeah. because at that time i had not released the album mm. i had released a single Paramount Bogoto. yes and i said to myself you know what this can be a great platform just so i can test myself and i entered this competition and it was open to all countries in Africa, mm -hmm. and I was representing South Africa. Wow. And me winning Afri Music was, in, was actually an affirmation to me, saying that, yeah. you know what, I can do this. I had to put my fears away. Um, I do have challenges as a musician, but I face them head on yeah. because Afri Music has actually given me the platform since I'm still in a working relationship with them. They took me to Israel to perform in front of... A big crowd mm. so th that to me says I do have this thing yeah see the opportunities that are there are just way bigger than my challenges mm. and fears so that's the type of person I am I and love the positive spirit <laughs> I have that's, such a positive spirit that's the way spirit. to go yes. let's talk about Pagama Mbogot I mean mm. it's your debut single um, and just from the title you can tell that there's a lot of strength and a lot of power mm -hmm. uh, behind what you've done with this project mm. so bring us into your own head and bring us into your own um, emotions in terms of your thoughts around mm. the song and why you wanted to release something that's got such a powerful message behind it. Okay, uh, 
Power Man Bogoto was, uh, I first released it, released it as a single, and now that I've released the album, I also decided to title it Power Man Bogoto. I decided to write the song because I wanted to write a song that is going to speak to women from all walks of life. Mm -hmm. When you listen to the song, it's very motivational. Mm -hmm. At the same time, it's very applauding yeah. of the things that are being done by women. Yeah. In politics today, we are fighting for um, gender equality. Hmm. So this song addresses all of those issues because I wanted to write a song that is going to celebrate mm. the power of a woman and at the same time a plea to the world that women yeah. must be given the space because yeah. women are more than capable of doing things so i wanted to write a song that is not a sad song about yeah. women yeah. but i wanted to write a, celeb a celebratory mm. song and so. i think it's important we don't hear enough of those positive messages coming through mm. very quickly where can people get the album the album is available on all digital platforms it's available there you can just search on Zwagazi Pagam and Bogoto and you'll just get it there all right it has 10 songs and all of these songs are motivational and it's songs that I'm very proud of. Oh, thank you so much for coming on the show. <laughs> I can't wait to hear you perform later on and all the best with everything going forward. Okay, thank you. That's uh, uh, Nonzo Gazi speaking to us about her musical journey as well as her latest project titled Pagama Mbogoto that is available across uh, all digital platforms. Make sure that you get your copy. And uh, yeah, it's just been a lovely discussion. I love how positive she is, especially about spreading good news about women. We're